To enter a sales order, go to the Sales Area page and go to Sales Transaction Entry. This opens up the Sales Transaction Entry screen where I can put in orders, quotes, or invoices. But let's put in an order. I'm going to tab down. The system will give me a document number. And then let's look up a customer ID. Do a look up. I've got a number of different customers here. I select the one that I want. Let's pick Adam Park. And I need to put the sales order into a batch. So I'm going to type a batch name in here and call it whatever I want to. This batch is not in the system, so I'm going to add a new batch here and save it. So this is the basic header information for the sales order. Now let's go down into the grid and add some detail. Here I'm at the item number. I can look up the item number or I can just type it in. I'm going to look it up here and I know that one that I want is starts here and this is the item I want. So I'm going to select this item. And maybe I want 10 of those. And the price is already there. If I click on unit price, it'll show me the pricing schedule for this particular item. I can have quantity discounts if I want to. I have different prices for different groups of customers. So I'm just going to tab here and go down to the second line. I can easy, easily add as many different lines as I want to. Let's add another item here. There's a second item. I can have any quantity that I want. The system is going to go out and look for availability for that particular quantity. And really that's all I need to do in order to create a sales order. I can print the sales order here. I can also email it to my customer if I want to. But it's really easy to do and that's basically the process.